Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic is medicine. Medicine is what we drink or eat when we are sick, right? When we are not feeling good and our stomach hurts. What does the doctor give us? The doctor gives us medicine and we drink this medicine, right? Now how much medicine do we drink? Do we drink this much? or do we drink a little bit or do we drink this much right so how do we know how much medicine to drink when we are sick so take medicine not too much but not too little right somewhere in the middle in many cases right many times we need to measure or measure is to see how much ilmiri, ilmiri, how much right we're measuring uh, the amount of liquid for example, when we take medicine in syrup, syrup is the water, right, this syrup here, and don't take it in the exact amount, right, we need to take this much, right, not this much, not this much, exactly this much, we have to drink this much, right, it will not help cure what makes us sick. So if we take this much, we will still be sick. Cure means to make us better, right? So it will not make us better if we drink this much or we drink this much. If we drink this much, the exact right amount, then it will cure what is making us sick, right? So to cure is to fix your sickness and to not cure is to not fix the sickness. So then, how do you measure the exact amount, right? The box, it says 50 milliliters. How do we know this is 50 millimeters? So we can measure the amount, we can see how much, right, uh, or volume with a tool called a cylinder. So this is a tool or togu, it's called a cylinder, it looks like this, right, and we can measure it. It has a flat circular end, right, it's flat and a circle, and long straight sides. So it's the circle on the top and it's long, right, this cylinder, this tool. There are scales on the side, such as 1 milliliters, 5 milliliters, 10 milliliters. So it's flat, like this. And on the side, there's 5 milliliters, 10 milliliters. Uh, we can see how much volume is in there. When you need to take 5 milliliters of syrup, pour the liquid into a cylinder until it fills the cylinder to the scale of 5 milliliters. So we take the, we pour the liquid, right? We're pouring the liquid into the cylinder. This is a cylinder, so we're pouring into it, inside it. And it says, until it says five milliliters. So on the cylinder, there's the little lines and numbers. So we're pouring and it goes up to five milliliters and then we stop. It means the volume or the size of the syrup is five milliliters and you got the exact or chongakan amount of the syrup, right? So we're talking about how do we measure, how do we know is it 5 milliliters or 10 milliliters. So, we have three review questions here. A, in many cases, in many times for you and I, all children everywhere, we need to blank the amount of liquid. So we get the medicine box, right? And on the box it says Drink only 10 milliliters, right? It says that, 10 milliliters. So we have to do 10 milliliters. So when we are uh, sort of uh, counting how much milliliters, we say that is measure. So another tool for measuring that you may know is a ruler or a cha here, right? So we want to measure the paper, so we say, okay, five centimeters, seven centimeters. So measuring is counting how big something is, right? We measure my size, then I am 175 centimeters, right? Measuring is to see how big something is, right? With water too. B, it will not help blank what makes us sick. So we have to drink exactly 10 milliliters, right? If we drink 20, if we drink one, it will not make us be healthy. It will not cure what makes us sick. So curing is to make someone healthier, 
to make them you know strong again to fix their sickness right so if we drink too much if we drink too little it will not help cure it will not help chiryo it will not help fix what's making us sick right it will not help us see when you need to take five millimeters milliliters of syrup pour the liquid blank a cylinder so the cylinder is that tool that has the lines right and when we are pouring the liquid where do we pour do we pour it over here over here no we pour it inside right so we say we pour it through the cylinder through means it's going inside something right so when we are in a tunnel right we're driving your father is driving and we see a tunnel then how are we driving it are we driving over it under it no we're driving through it we're going inside the tunnel same thing with the cylinder we are putting it inside the cylinder we're putting it through the cylinder all right all right we're going to look uh, study some grammar right now a we can measure the amount or volume with a tool blank a cylinder so the name of this tool right this togu name is a cylinder right so when we are saying someone's name or what how do we call them we say it is called right so we can say um, i have a toy called turning mech card right i'm describing what the name is i have a pencil called you know what's the uh, lami right so when we are talking about a name we want to tell you more about the per thing or person's name we say called right i have a dog called odie right that's my dog's name b their blank scales on the side such as one milliliter five and ten milliliters so scales we're talking about the number on the cylinder right on this tool there is a scale like one two three four five six this is the numbers are called the scale right and we don't have only one number we have many numbers right we see that by scales it's many scales and when there are many we have to choose not is but there are scales so if there was only one scale then we will say there is one scale on the side right but in this sentence it says there are scales on the side so we have to say there are scales on the side um, has we don't say has has is to have something right more cut goita right but we need a better noun than here we can say a dog has scales a fish has scales you uh I don't know, my friend has scales right but there we're talking about a preposition like where something is we're talking this is where so we have to use this if it was a person or a thing then we would use scales right i mean sorry has see when you need blank take five milliliters of syrup pour the liquid into the cylinder so what we have here need is what we call a helping verb right similar to want or think or, or need and the main uh, verb here is take to drink something right so when we have a helping verb like this we need to take the original form of the main verb original form of the main verb is not take i mean not taken or took the original form is to take right so i'll give you some examples when you need to take right so you i'll give you another example you need to study right we don't say you need to studying you need to running no when we use the word need and two we don't change the verb after need to run we need to swim right we don't say running swam swimming it's just the original form of the main verb here all right so to review when we're talking about or trying to tell a name we say called i have a dog called odie 
are is when there are many things, 많은 게 있다, right? So the many things here are scales. So we say there are scales. If it was one, then we would say there is scales. Two, we use two because we have two verbs here. 니, 필요하다, and take, 먹다, right? Or to 갖다. So we have to say need to take, need to swim, need to run, need to study. All right. So, <clears throat> sorry. Next time you take your medicine and you're drinking your medicine, really see how do you measure how much you are drinking. Is it one milliliter, two milliliter, five milliliters? How do you measure it? All right. Thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.